40 degrees here in Indiana. Uh, so I figured it'd be a good day for some chili. And since it's deer season, we're going to do some venison chili. I've got about two pounds of ground venison. I've got about three pounds of deer roast. Uh, I've got my seasoning starter packs, two of those. I've got some chili seasoning. I'm going to put a little rotel in there. I'm going to put three cans of chili ready tomatoes. I like black beans, chili beans, and great northern beans in there. And then my secret to my chili is I also put a jar of mild salsa in there and V8. Let me get everything heated up over here. I'm going to be cooking it in my nine quart lodge and I'll be right back with you. Alright, I got everything chopped up and stuff. And it's time to start browning a little bit of the meat. I'm going to start out with the ground beef, or the ground venison, I mean. That is already smelling good. Try to get all this broken up real good. Once I get this all browned up, I'll be right back with you. I've got all the uh, ground venison browned up. Now I'm going to put in my chunks of the roast and I like pretty big chunks because we like a real hearty meaty chili it probably I don't know take about five minutes to get this all browned and everything I'll move some of that ground beef over the side but as soon as I get this browned up I will show you the rest of the ingredients Alright, that's all browned up real good, so I am going to add my vegetable, this uh, seasoning blend that I picked up. Get that all mixed in good. I'm going to add my Rotel. And that's really about the only thing with any heat other than my chili powder. Just, my boy and my wife, they just don't like it super spicy. But we love it hearty with all this meat and everything in it. I'm going to put my three cans of tomatoes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let me get all that mixed in. Definitely starting to smell like chili now. I'm gonna put my secret ingredient in now. This big jar of chunky salsa. And you would be amazed how good this is in there. And that was mild. And notice I haven't even added any V8 or anything yet. And look at all the juices we already have. I'm gonna put my two cans of chili beans in. And these are in a chili sauce. Here's my can of black beans. Oh, let me turn this heat up. I want to get this back up to a boil as quickly as I can. And here's my great northern beans. I'm going to put my three packets of the chili spice. Get everything mixed really, really good. Get the spices everywhere. And this liquid will reduce down as this cooks because I'm going to bring it up to a boil then I'm going to let it simmer for roughly eh, four hours or so before we eat. This is actually a whole lot better tomorrow.
but just to top off the pot I am going to put a little bit of the V8 in That was about a third of that jar. And when it boils down some, I'll add some more later. I like keeping a lot of liquid in here so nothing burns on the bottom because I'm a big believer one burnt bean in your chili will ruin the whole pot. So I'm gonna let get this up to a boil, let it simmer, and I'll be back with you in a few hours. All right, it's been approximately four hours that this has been on. Let's take a look at it. I did have to add a little more V8 after th hour three. Mm, that does smell very good. She's just simmering away. I think it's ready to take inside and have some dinner. But as you can see, when I started out, I was all the way up to here. That's how much that reduced down. And like I said, I did add roughly a half cup, maybe a cup of V8 after hour three. Um, I just like a lot of liquid mainly because it helps keep it from burning. Well, I'm going to go dish me up a bowl and have dinner. Y'all have a great day.